go, we're dreaming. seconds. Yeah. That's a new one. Thanks. Yeah. Silky smooth. 50 parents, man. Let's go. New, new logo, new sticker. <laughs> right on, man. I'll sport it. Hell yeah, dude. On you, man. Dude, are you going up or are you just finishing? I, I'm just finishing. How's it been? It's good. I mean, the snow's fast. Yeah, yeah. I think there's like one or two side hits up there. Yeah, we'll find them. Sure. <laughs> oh, I just, I live in South Reno. So I have a pass here. And yeah, there you go. Here in Boreal. That's what, 30 minutes? Yeah, it's like 25 minutes from 25 my house. 25 minutes from Dude. Reno? Yeah, it's so awesome, man. I love oh. it. It's like almost, uh, you know, and it's a good mountain, too. Yeah. I I've never been here like peak season. In the shoots on a powder day. Mental. I mean, it's like rode for 10 years in Squaw and that matches like pretty much Come on. Yeah, I mean, I'm good up in the shoes, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet yeah. you too, bro. Cool. Silken. Yeah. I like that name. Have a I good know. day, man. Take care, boss. That's a sick board, man. Thank you, bro. That thing's fine. I appreciate that. Are you sober, Casey? What? Oh my God. Oh, so man. I subscribe to you on uh, YouTube and everything, man. No. That's crazy. I rode with you at Boreal. I think it was like three seasons ago. Okay. And uh, you let me take a run with you and a couple of your buddies. Oh, let's get another one. Let's do it. I'm so down. Where are you coming Back up from? To, uh, right down here in Reno. Yeah, this is the Reno plug, huh? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I've been everywhere before. <laughs> Stoking, bro. Thank you, man. What's your name again? Dylan. Dylan. Little man. black and blue, the Appreciate new sea dog. That. Hell yeah. All right, we got a midday stoke down. Coming to you live from Mount Rose right now. I was about to drive to Utah after waking up in next to the Narvi, actually, driving to Truckee, getting in the river, getting a full stoke down this morning. I was about to start the drive to Utah and realized through social media that Mount Rose opened two days ago on Friday. So I want to give a little explanation about how I had no pass, no idea of the conditions or who was gonna be here or a filmer or anything and I just committed and I said, I'm, I'm doing it, it's gonna work out and I sent it up here by myself. I have had a relationship with them in the past. We've come here, we've done some opening day videos. I told them I'd show them some love in exchange for a ticket because they're not on Epic or Icon and it's those small resorts that always show so much love and that you're able to actually have a personal relationship with and that is just so beautiful that it's still alive and it seems like if you're in the Reno area, this is the joint here. I've never been here on a pow day, but just looking at it in front of me is next level. The locals are claiming it's 25 minutes from Reno and the lines are almost non-existent, especially on the weekends. That might be the call for you guys, but we're stoking. We got an absolute day ahead of us. We rode Mammoth the past two days and drove to Tahoe after that. So your boy is just hanging in there, but I heard they don't have a park, so we're just gonna get some daily stoke on right now. Swivel around, spread some love, pretty much just have fun. Let's do it. Mount Rose, opening weekend, 2023, 2024. Yeah, take this stuff seriously. It's no joke up here.
pretty sick though. No, wait, I want the snowboard one. There you go, smart man. We get a live sub right now, bro. 110,000. Yeah, Holy crap! Are you stoked? That's nuts. <laughs> like at this point. Oh, definitely a bit different than. Hey. What's up? What's hey. up? What's up? What's up? Come on, on, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's it going? Where's it going? Give me some. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, come back. Fucking oh. frothing, dude. Thank you, G. Oh, that shit's so fun. There's just something about a skier behind the lens. Right? <laughs> that just makes it so good. Got that finesse. That freaking linear stoke. I need that claim again. Bro, I was watching the stretch video. Get you prepared for the slopes, bro. Look where I am now. <laughs> it's morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's epic. I'm stoked, bro. The best decision I ever made.
dog. What's up? How are we stoking? Off the rails right now. Look Let's at this. Yo, what do we I'm got matching. here, bro? That's a heavy claim. We gotta get a laugh she in. She rides perfect. Dog. Yeah? Uh, yeah. That's the best thing I ever heard. From Mexico to Nevada. Hey, shit. How'd that you happen? That uh, moved around a lot. Came here to the States when I was little. I was in Idaho, Indianapolis, New Mexico. I saw your video in, in Taos. Yeah, that was I good I want to go there. Ended up here over the years. This is probably the best spot you can live in. Cop the uh, job. Oh yeah. Give Did, you the pass. Uh, last year, I started working here at Rose. Honestly, it's a great place to just get like used to the snow, you know? Yeah, yeah. Learn how to dress for the cold. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole situation. It's all, it's it's Mexico, yeah. bro. Yeah, bro. I'm not used to that. Bro, that's sick. Know? So we had to get used to it. A couple of buddies got into this, and I was like, hey, let's try it. That's good. And I'm six years deep. Let's go. Yeah. Ripping. One of these days, you need to come and hit the shoots. Oh, yeah, I'm here in Big Fish. I had some internationals saying that they moved here full time, but they didn't have papers, so they couldn't work at the mountains. How'd you manage all that? Well, like I said, I turned myself into a citizen. All it's in a process. all, it, yeah, it took 10 years. Oh! Expensive. Oh! Yeah, it's all it's hard work, though. Yeah. You gotta yeah. stay committed. I'm lucky enough that my parents put in the work. Yeah, I'm, I'm still out here, like, trying to step up on their game not, yeah yeah not put to you disrespect on. but more like just to make them proud yeah they put in a lot of work bought a house in a couple of years yeah they're almost done paying it off in 15 years yes like but making they, the dream their, happen dude yeah exactly dream sure. my dream you know buy myself some time i guess yeah yeah just hell roam no roam around figure out yeah, what's good yeah, yeah. my like, legs are fucked you're you tripping really? we're trying to hold a camp there dude Bugging. january we're trying to dial some people in with a whole trip there i, I gotta say are the ray-bans are those some mexican knockoffs because <laughs> i literally got a ten dollar pair I'm gonna, myself i'm gonna give you the most mexican <laughs> response they're my cousins yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, you you know, I, got a, I was thinking one day, bro, they the got some good AI know? now, but it'd be sick to start up uh, just a Spanish channel. Dude, but like captions? just every every video I've ever made, not even just captions. Oh, full, the, the crazy mouth thing. Yeah, but now they literally yeah. all, AI changes your mouth so it would look like I'd be like, oh, 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 you know, and it would be my mouth going yeah, hard. Shit. But I know you got it. Woo! Yeah, I'd have, on, to, I'd have to put some time in. Oh, come on. Putting it kind of offset on the side in which way you're turning. Like leaning to yeah, the right? Yeah, he's leaning upright. Yeah. 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 Like you like dipped. You gotta turn. Oh, like, yeah. So you want you're like, like dropping you your front shoulder. Yeah, your 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 whole body's low and engaged, but still upright. And then remember I, I had that toe edge locked yeah. in for a while. You're exploding from your compression up, but straight up. And then the spin is what just keeps you on that nose. Because you whip it, you whip it past 360, right into that toe edge, it locks in. Oh, like you almost want to spin past 360, but you can just like take your legs from behind and just like bah, your jam them into three. Oh yeah, bro. I'm gonna get that. You got it. So remember, lock your edge in for a while, wind that and arms up, and then stay upright. We didn't do a midday breakdown because the stoke was just way too high and I only had two GoPro batteries. One of them was at like 11%. I don't have a charger situation going on in the rig right now. So we're barely hanging in there, but I have to say that that was the most fun I've had snowboarding 
all year best conditions i've only ridden mammoth so far but maybe it was the combination of the sun hitting the trail and not so many people on it but it just seemed like full-blown silhouette blower pow like just enough snow to grab and throw spray and they just got vertical the homies were stoking the clips are banger because we had the skier stoked just frothing out following us and then we had all the other homies and i want to say like i told you guys in the beginning of the video i rocked up here with just no plan and if you guys don't have homies to shred with do not let that discourage you from going to shred if your homies don't want to go and snowboard or do the things that you want to do you might need to just go to the area and do the things that you want to do so that you can find the legends that you want to surround yourself with it's super tough to say you know these are my best friends or these are my homies and i'm just gonna not hang out with them as much anymore but if you're trying to take steps in your life to do the things that you love do not get held back from homies who just might have a different goal than you. They might have a different desire and different dreams. I repeat, do not limit yourself because of somebody else and the way that something that you're gonna do might make them feel. As long as it's not literally injuring anybody or putting anybody down, go, sleep in your car, show up with no pass, figure it out. Show up with no homies, show up with no money. Just leave, pack your stuff, do what you wanna do. I know you've been waiting for a sign, here it is. This is about to be your final breakdown. A quick recap of what's happening currently. Just rode Mount Rose in Nevada. Was unsure of what I was gonna do for the rest of the day, whether I was going to drive back to my place in Utah or stay in Nevada, but then the stoke was so real that I started to look up flights to Colorado because tomorrow copper opens. And I could chill and snowboard in Nevada or Mammoth, but I'm literally trying to cruise around and spread as much love as I can right now, especially for this preseason. In 2018 and 19, we did so many of the openings and it was so fun. And this past couple of days just got me reminded of that. So the plane tickets are literally $420. I just it to myself because Verde is gonna pick me up at the airport for free. Breckenridge is open, Keystone's open, Copper opens tomorrow, A Bay's been open, and I know that you guys are the ones. And I just wanna say, if you guys are stoked on the videos it literally helps out so much especially pre-season if you cop some merch if you support on patreon even throwing out like merch and stuff like that still kind of hurts me but it literally helps fuel this entire thing and if you guys are actually frothing and you want me to potentially show up to your resort or just keep giving you daily videos then supporting any way that honestly the minimal ways that i have goes so far so that i can actually afford ubers plane tickets season passes and all types of things so anybody who's ever supported in any way like that i just want to say thank you so much literally means the world i am so strict with how I spend every single dollar that I make because I don't make that much and I'm literally in this just for the love and the fun and uh, yeah, it just means the world to have the support behind it. It is literally 3.30 right now. I didn't even buy my plane ticket yet. The plane leaves at 5.45 out of Reno. I stopped at Whole Foods real quick and for the first time, Whole Foods is so bad. I don't know what happened to them over the past couple of years but they don't care about corn oil, canola oil, which if it's not organic, is literally genetically modified. We won't even get into that, but every single thing that they have in that hot bar has some type of maltodextrin or cornmeal or soybean oil or soy this or flavoring or just this wild stuff. And I finally found one soup that literally was just vegetables and chicken and olive oil, which olive oil, you're not even supposed to heat, but when you're on the road like this, if that's the worst thing we're doing, then we're doing good. We're literally about to pack everything we got right now, fly to the airport, fly to Denver. We got a layover, a bad price, $420 and you still got a layover on a two hour flight. And then we're about to see Mike Green and the Stokes about to get real for the next couple of days. Let's do it. Oh, and this changed my life. You don't realize how many single use pieces of silverware you go through until you get yourself a nice bamboo set. And then you feel like an absolute G when you're eating. <laughs>
547 to Denver. Can I pay for it here? Can I buy the ticket right here? I just want to make sure that I can still get the two bags on that plane. I see a... It goes from here to Reno and then... Salt Lake. At 9? Yeah, 9.25. What time does it land in Denver? 10.57. I have it here and it says 5.49, same flight. Oh yeah, because there was one at 5.49, but I don't think it taxed Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. All right. But I still get there at the same time? Interesting. Yeah, that's what this one was, too. Interesting. <laughs> and it's how much? 420 $420. Okay. And this one is over. Here, I put those in there. So how much was the bags total? 70 70 And 420 so 490 How far are we going? <laughs> Gate. B10. B10. Thank you so much. Oh, here we are again. Jeez. All right, your final breakdown of the night. Your boy got smoked at the airport. I might even have it on film. I rocked up there with no ticket and I asked the lady, do I have time to make the five o'clock flight and still get my bags on this plane? And she said, we don't think so. So we're just gonna put you on the nine. It's the same price. I said, all right, cool. I'm gonna have a bunch of time to do edits. Prints me out my tickets, tells me, Nine o'clock, gate whatever. Didn't even go in and probably edited for like two hours until I looked down, checked the ticket, and it actually took off at five. Went into the terminal, saw the lady, and she was like, we were calling you, the plane left at five. And I'm like, why were you calling me? And at the end of the day, this type of thing happens all the time to all of us for the best reason. And we never know why in the moment, but tomorrow or 10 years down the road from now, I could legitimately look back and be like, oh yeah, if this didn't happen, then that wouldn't have happened and it wouldn't have led me to where I am today. So you just gotta remember in those moments that we don't know why, but for some reason, I was supposed to get bodied and they returned my flight. They didn't have another one tonight. So I came back to my car. We're sleeping in Reno in the streets. We booked a different one at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Landing in Denver at nine. Verde is gonna scoop your boys and we're gonna be at Copper hopefully by 12 o'clock noon. That's the claim, but thank you guys as always for watching, stoking, supporting, and I hope that these type of life insights, hiccups that I go through can help some of you guys out, even if it's just with how you manage situations. That's that, we're stoked. We've got a bunch of editing done, we're on it tomorrow. Yeah, hope you guys are frothing. Hope you guys are getting on snow soon, and we'll see you in the next video for the dream. Woo! Room tonight. <laughs> <laughs>